Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Operation Abyss, New Tokyo Legacy. We are in the classroom, and I'm not sure what we need to do. I feel like we're... We're going the wrong direction. Uh, title, gather information from the classroom. It can't be! Oh, there we go. You're doing it wrong. You can't interact with... Sorry, interact or interactivate. I, I don't know. You can't interact with the civilians that much. Just hurry. I bet the spy who entered the, the Gakuto sewers east side is in critical danger. Uh, Kyoko is somehow in true protein year secrets. Didn't I fix everything? I thought I saved the spy and all that stuff. Do we have to go back to headquarters now? Mission on-campus investigation pending. Investigate the rumors surrounding the phenomenon taking place at the Hanoa Academy. Uh, we did that one. Variant spotted inside the high-rise. Okay. Uh, squad reported their hmm. findings. Okay. There we go. Great job, Abyss Company. Maharu Utena, daughter of the genius detective Akira Utena. I heard she appeared at the scene of a hazard case and got into an altercation with the XPD, but afterward the director spoke with Akira and warned them against getting too deeply involved. She might make trouble for us down the road. Well, it's good that the mission was resolved with no issues. You did a great job on your first independent mission. Thank you. I contacted the XPD to close down the Gakuto sewer immediately. Uh, the mission is complete. I'm counting on you guys. Thank you. On-campus investigation completed. We have 150 GP. And, yeah, mission. What do we have now? Special standby mission. Ooh. Currently a hazard case is or, sorry, occurring at the Hanoa District Assemble the Zinth Squad. The Zith Squad at the CPA headquarters and wait for their orders. Accept this mission? Yes. Hmm. Your mission is the special standby mission. Currently in the Tokyo Mid Hills area, an unconfirmed hazard case is underway. The XPD are investigating for more details. Abyss Company, remain on standby so that you can be dispatched at once when the scrambler rings. However, you guys still have afternoon classes. Attend the lecture in the classroom until the scrambler uh -huh. rings. At this time, I should warn you, the activities of the Zinth or the Zith. See, I don't remember how to say it anymore. It's crazy. The X Squad, the Zith Squad, are a national secret. When the scrambler rings, be careful leaving the classroom. Make sure your teacher and classmates don't suspect anything. Teachers affiliated with the Academy Teaching Association will assist you by providing their knowledge of the Zith. But as far as other teachers are concerned, you guys are just rowdy teenagers looking to cause trouble. Do not divulge any information about the Zith, no matter what. I cannot over overstate how important that is. Alrighty. I have accepted the mission, and I have done things, and now we're going to return to the classroom! After your squad entered the classroom, Seiko Carino began her physics lecture. Now then, we'll begin the lecture. Uh -huh. Today we'll start learning about waves. Although waves come in many forms, such as seismic waves, light waves, sound waves. Ocean waves. Kyoko's hand shot up. Professor, is the wave motion gun a type of wave too? Wave motion gun? Based on what I saw in episode 22. How should I know? Look, Miss Meguro, I have no idea what you're talking about. But this is supposed to be a normal physics lecture. Stop fooling around and pay attention! What? But you were in line all morning for the movie premiere! Oh. Be quiet! Burn. Yes, ma'am. Creepy and disturbing. The dejected Kyoto Kyoko took her seat. Johnny started to whisper. Uh-huh. That's Kyoko for you. They don't call her a space cadet for nothing. Nowadays, otaku culture is its own comedy genre. Okay. That style blurs the lines between reality and fantasy, so you definitely shouldn't underestimate her. <sighs> Jenny! Yeah! What's up, Fizz? I heard you were trying to become a comedian. 
If you insist on talking in my class, tell a joke. For real? I am serious. How can you call yourself a professional if it can't if you can't perform for an audience? Hey now, that ain't no problem. I can make everyone here laugh their butts off. Language. Johnny began his science joke. What do you think? That element, Ruth and the Indian um always stretches the truth. Every time it tells a story, I always ask, Are you serious? That's the punchline, right? Uh... Well, uh, now how did you know that? Did you used to be a comedian professor? The vice principal at my previous school likes stupid jokes like that. Oh, what do you mean, stupid? <sighs> Oh, Johnny, I've heard my students say that my lectures are only good for passing tests, but really, I am here to impart to you important knowledge vital to your future, which means my lectures are far better than your puns. How oh, cruel. Fist Company, say something. But suddenly, your squad's S vices shook, and the bone conductors echoed in their ears. This is Alice. It's Alice Maf Mafune. Emergency, emergency. We're getting reports of a violent variant appearing at Morimoto High Rise again. Can you sneak out of the lecture? Sure. Your squad tried to leave inconspicuously. Excuse me! The lecture is not over. Where might you be going? Just then, English Professor Mike Cohen entered. Hello, Mike. Professor Cohen, what seems to be the trouble? We've been notified by the police that these students are terrorist what? suspects. What? I'm here to take them away. That's ridiculous. Professor Cohen, please don't joke around. No, no, I'm not busting your chops. These students really are terrorist suspects. Seiko glared at your squad. You guys! Just what is the meaning of this? I have my doubts, but are you really terrorists? No. The students themselves refute your point. No, 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 you just don't know the real them. They're actually Yakuza children. Teachers have been scared of them since junior high. That's a new one. My word, why would a professor from an elite school tell such an obvious lie? In all my years of teaching, I don't think I've met a single professor stranger than you. Suddenly, Alice bolted into the classroom. You guys! At this company, there isn't much time. Follow me. Miss Mifune, we are right in the middle of class. No time to explain. Excuse us. Your squad was pulled out of the classroom. Hmm. Uh, we're going to headquarters. We were moved to headquarters. Uh-huh. I know it's sudden, but I need you at the scene. Your destination is Morimoto High Rise. Don't worry about the lecture. Kato will handle it. Thanks to Professor Cohen's screw-up, things got a little complicated. It's almost time now. <laughs> School announcement begins. Is that all right? Emergency announcement from the Student Council. Some students' S devices have been infected with a virus. There is a possibility that the virus can spread to others. Please bring your S vices to the computer preparation area of the laboratory immediately. Students whose S vices need repairs are... Abyss Company's members were mentioned in the announcement. Hmm. Hmm, that's a good cover. The Student Council and Teachers Association are sticking to the plan. Now, Abyss Company, hurry to Morimoto High Rise! Sweet. Are you sure? Oh, Captain Alice! What's up, Kato? No, it's just that... Oh, the message we just got. Looks like that was a false report from the XPD. What, what do you mean? A false report? Well, that's a first. <laughs> yes, mistakes have been piling up within the XPD lately. My apologies. It's not your fault, Kato. I'm sorry to have troubled you all. It's okay. I'll complain to the XPD later. Abyss Company, I'm sorry. That was some unnecessary anxiety. But it happens sometimes. Special standby mission completed. Sweet, we got paid for doing nothing. What's our new mission? Serial murder probe. Oh boy, that sounds fun. Let's do it. Accept the mission? I do. New information about a case involving the murders of several teenage girls have surfaced. Assemble at CPA headquarters for the briefing. Hmm. Your mission is a serial murder probe. Starting from this mission, the Biz Company will be investigating as professional members of the Zith Squad. Things will be different now, so brace yourself. Recently, high school girls have been getting murdered at the Hinoa District. Have you ever, or have you heard about this? Uh, no, I have not. Yes, this instance has, this incident has been a topic of conversation. 
I should tell you that all Zith missions aren't just routine investigations. You should be aware that of any information relating to hazard cases, especially this case since our students are victims. Anyway, I'll explain the details of this incident. The victims of this incident are high school girls. A couple of days after being abducted, the victims were found with parts of their body or organs missing. Well, that's disturbing. It seems like a crime of passion, but the XPD are, is treating this like a hazard case. From the rear desk, Kato approached. Are you sure? Captain Alice, the XPD has been dispatched. Good, good. Mr. Fuo works fast. Permit me to continue the explanation? For this mission, you guys will be re reinvestigating the Morimoto High Rise. As we investigated the murders of these high school girls, Morimoto High Rise emerged as the common link. According to the XPD's report, multiple suspects were sighted near Morimoto High Rise where the crimes were committed. That's the building where we encountered Phantom Nono. Indeed. After encountering, encountering Nono, Morimoto High Rise has been closed off and placed under an XPD surveillance. Naturally, trespassers can't enter the premises, but there are known variants lurking within the building. There have also been multiple sightings of members of a certain organization. Are they with the TPF? There's no conclusive proof yet, but probably well. By the way, do you know what the P the TPF is? I do not. Anyway, I'll make this simple. TPF stands for the Toyo, the Toyo Peace Foundation, or the Tojo Peace Foundation. It was established by the Tojo Group Corporation. This giant corporation is rapidly gaining power, and the slogan they use in their advertisements is, Making an Ideal Peaceful Society. The foundation primarily works to help the unemployed. The gist of their philosophy is social equality creates true peace. Because of this, their main supporters are young people who feel discouraged by job shortages and social inequality. The Tojo Group, founders of the TPF, are also supporters of Dieto, the country's largest oppositional political party. Well, it's not useful. I'm sorry, guys. I'm clearing my throat a lot. I apologize if I keep muting or pausing here. Um, do any of you support the TPF? Nope. I'm glad none of you are TPF supporters. It would have made things eh, complicated. We, the CPA, through the efforts of the XPD, have been investigating the activities of the TPF. The group is suspected of participating in illegal activities up to and including kidnapping. The number of kidnapping incidents in the Hanoa district and the number of hazard cases are exactly the same, which clearly indicates a link between the two. According to the XPD's reports, it's confirmed that variants were involved in the deaths of the high school girls in this case, and the kidnapping cases case were both the work of the TPF then, my brother. Kato, I understand your feelings, but we shouldn't jump to conclusions. Kato's expression is grim. Uh -huh. Well, whoever the culprit is, we can't let this case slip through our fingers. Kidnapping high school girls and butchering them, whoever did this, is clearly depraved. If a clue can be found within the abyss, then... We, the Zith Squad, will conduct our investigation. That is all. Yes. You're right. The justice system is powerless against hazard cases. In fact, as far as the public is concerned, code technology, the Abyss, and variants don't even exist. So, Abyss Company, you will rendezvous with the XPD, or Rendezvous, with the XPD st standing by at Morimoto High Rise and conduct a thorough investigation. That building definitely contains some sort of secret. This is a great opportunity for all of you to experience an official investigation. Stand tall and venture forth. Sure. Um, I guess we go to the city map? And we go to... Was it the Hanoa Station? That leads us to the high rise, is that correct? No, that's not it. Tokyo Mid Hills. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's go to CPA headquarters real quick. Let's check out the mission here. Uh, does it tell us anything about it? Show variant levels lab training course. Repeat offer. The chief is conducting a training course of on code development. Attendance is mandatory for the Zith squad members. Hmm. Well, I know we got to go to the Morimoto High Rise, but I don't know how to get there. This is a little bit awkward. City map, 
Uh, maybe it's there? Nope, can't go there. We can dispatch here. Maybe this that's where it's at. All right. All right, we found it. Would you like to activate network functions and send memos? No, I would not like to do that. Thank you. Detective Fua appeared from the XPD squad that was sealing the 27th floor of the Morimoto high-rise. So, you're here. Thanks for your hard work, Abyss Company. I'm sure your captain already told you, but your objective is to investigate this building. We'll take care of the exits. Nothing's going to get past us. Also, I have some good information. When my squad recovered the bodies, some of the officers witnessed something other than a variant. According to the reports, it entered a room and mysteriously disappeared. Most likely there's something in that room. But that's a little too much for the XPD to <laughs> investigate. So that's where you guys come in. First, investigate the rooms on 27F, or the 27th floor. You might find something unexpected. If we can arrest whoever's hiding in this building, we'll be able to learn their identity, as well as their connection to this case. Like, suddenly, the XPD were seen taking someone away. Sir, this woman was trying to enter the building. What now? Is this the suspect? Oh, it's you, Miharu. What's up, Yusaku? You look disappointed. Not at all. I don't mind meeting a beautiful woman. Mm. Oh, why, thank you. By the way, Yusaku, why are you trying to steal this abandoned building? Miharu, you do know I'm not going to answer that, right? I'll admit you're a great detective, but you need to stop crossing the line. It might cost you your life. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a threat? Yes. It's gonna take more than that to scare me off. You saw the monsters, didn't you? Besides, this operation is classified. If you get too nosy, we won't be able to help you. The stakes are too high. Hmm. How selfish. The people have a right to know what's going on. Do they? They aren't stupid. Are they? They can tell something's going on in the Hinoa district. Can they? Sorry, sorry. They live in constant anxiety, and Do they don't they? even know why. Sorry. You can just keep going with it, and it works. So I want to! Uh, get her out of here. Get her out of here. Maharu was escorted away by the XPD officer. Detective Fuwa. Fuwa? Lit a cigarette. <laughs> For crying out loud. For crying that out woman loud, that woman doesn't listen at all. Yeah. Well, I don't mind a stubborn woman. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Anyway, the situation is exactly as I explained to you. I'll leave the rest to you guys. Thank you. All right. This so is Kaito. One sec. Let me explain something before you enter Morimoto High Rise. According to my scanners, there's a memo in front of you guys. There is. This feature lets you leave useful information inside an abyss using special code technology. To leave a memo, you either sorry, you need either a tool called a memo coder or the academic skill set memo. I'll transfer you some. Memo coder X3 was sent to your squad's S vices. Well, there are already some memo coders in the development lab, but if you want to write or check a memo, press the O button and you can bring up the function. Please use it for your I wish you good luck. That's all over and out. The memo and network function. Memos left inside the abyss can be shared with other players throughout the network function. You can set your network function on off in the options menu. Now, I was told by Antros that it is not a wise idea, because it kind of ruins the game a little bit, to have the network function on, so I'm going to turn it off. Because essentially what he said is he walked up to the first memo he found, or one of the first memos he found, and basically it told him where specifically in the area that he was supposed to explore was the goal that he was looking for. So he said not to do that. Searching the relevant block, detected an ordinary floor. Oh, we have to hit this button? Suspicious area at go search. See, that's the thing. That's the thing right there. So apparently at some point there was a a memo that kind of ruined it, so. Uh do we have an overall map? I thought we did. Give me a give me a second here, guys. I gotta remember my there we go. Overall map. So we have to search this entire floor, huh? And there's potentially places somewhere in here that could be bad, or it could be totally fine. Let's go to the center. You encountered something. Oh no, those little tiny specks of dust, I guess. I don't know what we're up against here. Huh. Go with whatever we did last time. 
How about you? Just do a little bit of moiter in there. I also wanted to do this. I feel like the voice is just a little bit too loud. Especially in combat, they're like, Hah! and you're like, oh, my ears are bleeding, no. Oh, Ancho senses something hidden nearby. A spatial rift on the floor is hidden by a hide code. Jump into the spatial rift? Sure. Now where are we? Oh, there's a monster with teeth over there. We'll come back to the teeth monster soon, but not quite yet. You encounter something. Oh no! It's an ugly dog. It's a hellhound. Tried to bite, bite both of Bodu's legs. I hit him. Took four damage. All right. Each character gained. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Yay! We did it. We're heroes. It's good stuff. I think I, I'm using my controller right now. I think I play this game with the keyboard most of the time. Let's switch back over to that. I couldn't recall. I say I feel like something's not right with my controls. So yay, we're back onto the keyboard controls. Yes, this is much better. Now, there's nothing wrong with the actual controller controls. In fact, that's probably how the game was intended to be played originally, but I've always liked my keyboard controls for as much as I possibly could uh, use them. I, I tend to do so. All right, we're gonna perform the action. And we're going to try our very best to do some decent damage here without using a lot of extra skill spells or any of that kind of stuffs. We don't have a lot of attackers that don't use those other things, so that's kind of a problem. But, eh, we'll get through it. We land all three of our attacks. We're going to kill them three at a time. Schwap. Get wrecked. Sweet. Uh, okay, we're going to say shock is probably what it is. Remove trap. Uh, it was... Commissar? Or sorry, Antros? Shock? The trap has been deactivated. Put junk armor into your squad subdisc. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're, we're almost done with this episode. It's a little sad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna smash my face on the wall repeatedly. It's just gonna be a thing that happens. Um, I don't know. I'm sure we have a button that brings out our map. Oh, map button. There we go. Which one was it? Was this? Okay. What are we on now? We're on the 26th floor, so we technically just jumped to a different floor altogether. <laughs> Which is sort of interesting. That's to say I likes it. We can go down the stairs. I'm going to say no. We want to go back probably up to the 27th floor at this point. But I think we'll play around on the 26th for a bit. The 26th will teach us stuff that we do not know otherwise. Or maybe it won't. The women's bathroom. I'm sorry, ladies, but uh, again, it's abandoned. Restroom supplies. I've encountered a doggy with another doggy behind it, I think. So this could get messy. Not necessarily, though. How about you? How about you? Prepare to go down, other doggy. You? How about you? Oh, it's still alive. Not for long. You? How about you? Cool. A code chip. Examine. Uh, no trap apparently. Once again, we're gonna we're gonna count on Antros's ability to be a boss and say that there's no trap. Um, can we. Let's examine it again. Hmm. Let's just open it. No trap found. Sweet. Junk weapon, junk armor, all sorts of junk <coughs> stuff. Nice. Well, there we go. Who know? Who knew the women's bathroom supply closet had armor and stuff in it? That totally makes sense, right? No. 
Alright, well, we're gonna go through another fight or two, we'll probably do a little bit of murdering and whatnot, and then... It's probably gonna be it, we'll probably break off and do like a, a save in the dungeon, because we can do that, because we're amazing, by the way. And yeah, go from there. And it will be glorious. You will all rejoice and be glad in it. Because, of course, you will. Aha! We can go up the stairs here. Yeah, let's get back to the 27th floor. Like I said, I feel like being here, not necessarily a bad thing. There's still a whole bunch of stuff here that we can search through. Oh, here we go. Nasty, nasty enemy here. The variant is studying the situation. Uh, we can observe. The variant attacks. Alright, um... What did I just do? Hmm. Interesting. Um, how do I use utility? Or unity, rather. Sorry, I'm saying utility. I like that, okay. Nah, I don't want to do that right now. I just wanted to see how we could actually use it. Um, seems like we only have specific attacks here. Alright. Use a spell. You are a healer, are you not? You are. It's defense up. Eh, yeah, it's defense up you. Why not? Alright, Antros, what do you got for me, buddy? Hit down. Take down the rabbits. And then finally, we have Melody. I, I don't... Is she out of spell casting abilities? Like, does she not have... Do we need to rest with her? I don't... I don't understand. What happened to her spells? They're just not there anymore. Do we have an item that she can use to get some spell back? Is she maybe not using a staff? Maybe I gave her the wrong Don't weapon type you. and it prevented her from being able to cast a spell. Searching for the... Wait, what just happened? Well, I must have done something wrong there, guys and girls. Again, I have to play this a bit more frequently, I think. I think my, my big problem right now is I haven't played it in so long. And I am struggling just a tad. Identify, identify all the stuff. Oop. Uh, use identify what nobody huh okay formation let's go with I, I didn't literally like I want to use was it status that's what it is equipment let's see here magic Tom Oh, that's all that we have is the batons. Huh. What is her... Why can't she use her wizard spells? Does it tell us something like her spell points are out? I don't see it. This chance defense evade... Intelligent, good, trained, unity, rating, okay, HP. I don't see... I don't see anything that shows... your spell points. Is this spell point? No, see, it's higher than her max, it looks like. She has 13 out of 11, but she got the plus 2 because of, I'm guessing, items and things. Same thing here. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Use a spell. I, why, why, doesn't she, why isn't she able to cast spells? I don't understand. I don't understand. Did I do something where I changed like, her variant? Or anti-energy? I mean...
It's like, shouldn't she? Oh my gosh, this is this is infuriating. I don't know what's going on. Like, why why is her wizard spells not there? I don't get it. A spell like his spells are there, but he only has one, so maybe you can only cast a certain number of spells. And once you do, they're out till you rest. That might make the most sense. I just wish there was some indicator here as to whether that's true or not. Like, we just used a spell on each one of the other two, and it did lower it from two to one, so that must be the case. All right, let's try this again. Oh boy, fighting more stuff this time. Guard. Guard. Oh, and somehow I changed out your order somehow. Because of course I did. Perform hey. action. How about you? Ha! So do they have any actual skills yet? They have attack. I'm assuming that they get skills down the road, but right now it doesn't look like that's the ha. case. And down you? you go, and now we have these hey? lovely lasses here that we're up against. Hey? How about you? Ha! All right, there we go. Victory! Code chip. Can't examine it. Ancho says a poison snare. I will believe you, sir. Uh, sorry. I believe you with your poison snare. All right, we put a head a back into our sub disc. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and in the next episode, hopefully, I'll have a little bit more knowledge information, a little bit quicker through the menus and whatnot. It's just, this is one of those games where there's certain tooltips and things that are missing, and you really have to kind of play around until you figure out what those things are. It's not necessarily a bad thing. There's less clutter and stuff on the UI. It's not a bad thing. Just a little bit different, a little bit weird. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>